hello friends welcome back in this video we will continue with our last video discussion so in the last video we have seen what is first order stationary what is second order stationary and what is strict sense stationary so in that we will see based on white sense stationary or second order stationary how to solve a given problem whether it is a white sense stationary or not so when we will call a given random process is white sense stationary means so first is mean is a constant mean is mu x of t is equal to expectation of x of t that should be constant so this is the first condition that we have to verify the second thing is the auto correlation function the auto correlation function should depend only on the time difference between the two processes or this we can write as rxx rxx of t comma t plus tau it should depend only on the difference between these two time instants so here in this case this is t1 and this is t2 difference if you take we will get tau it should depend only on tau so we will see a given problem whether whether it satisfies or the given process is a white sense stationary or not so here a random process x of t a cos omega naught t plus theta so here a and omega naught are constant and theta is a uniformly distributed random variable in the interval 0 to 2 pi so we have to check whether x of t is a white sense stationary process or not so this is the most very important problem most of the times in exam this question will come for sure so please stay attention so that you can easily understand so first condition is what is first condition expectation of x of t expectation of x of t which is nothing but the mean which should be constant mean should be constant so here in this given random process a and omega naught are constants and theta is the uniform random variable uniform random variable in the interval 0 to 2 pi so the density function for this random process is f theta of theta so for uniform random variable the density function is 1 pi b minus a where b and a are for b less than or equal to sorry for a for a less than or equal to theta less than or equal to b and 0 otherwise 0 otherwise so here in the given interval this is a and this is b so the pdf will be 1 by b is 2 pi minus 0 so it will be simply 2 pi a is 0 less than or equal to theta less than or equal to b and it will be 0 simply otherwise so this is the density function that we are going to use now expectation of expectation of x of t is nothing but integral minus infinity to infinity x of t so here the random variable is theta so that is why we will write f theta of theta into t theta so f theta of theta is defined only or exists between only 0 to 2 pi so that is why the limits are 0 to 2 pi x of t is a cos a cos omega naught t plus theta f theta of theta is nothing but 1 by 2 pi t theta so 1 by 2 pi is a constant it is it is nowhere a function of theta so 1 by 2 pi and a is also a constant we can write a by 2 pi so integral 0 to 2 pi cos omega naught t plus theta d theta so this is nothing but a cos 
theta or cos function which we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi. So this can be solved or if you observe cos, cos function. So over one duration, over one duration, so this will be one duration 2 pi over entire duration or one entire duration 0 to 2 pi. It will have, it will have equal positive half. So these are the two equal positive halves and correspondingly it will have equal negative half. So integration is nothing but adding over the entire time period. So the entire one time period so it will have equal positive or negative parts. So total will be if we add it will be simply 0 or we can also do or we can also integration of cos is nothing but sin. So a by 2 pi integration of cos theta is nothing but sin omega naught t plus theta and limits are 0 to 2 pi. So a by 2 pi. Now if we substitute upper limit sin omega naught t plus 2 pi minus sin omega naught t plus 0. So again sin 360 or sin 2 pi plus something is nothing but this sin 2 pi plus x is nothing but sin x. So it will be a by 2 pi it is sin omega naught t minus sin omega naught t. So sin omega naught t minus sin omega naught t is 0. So therefore expectation of x of t is equal to 0 which is nothing but constant which is a constant 0 is a constant so first condition is verified first condition is verified second condition is what we have to check autocorrelation function autocorrelation function is nothing but expectation of t into expectation of t plus tau which should be a function of tau only so what is x of t given x of t is a cos omega naught t plus theta then what will be x of t plus tau x of t plus in place of t we have t plus tau so it is a cos omega naught in place of t, t plus tau plus theta. So now we have to multiply x of t, x of t plus tau. So it is a into a will be a square cos omega naught t plus theta into cos. If you multiply inside, it will be omega naught t plus theta plus omega naught tau. So here we have product of two cos terms. Product of two cos terms. So this we can write. So or if we know cos a plus b. Cos a plus b is nothing but cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and cos a minus b is nothing but cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. So if we add these two, if we add these two on the left hand side we have cos a plus b plus cos a minus b. So these two terms will get cancelled. On the right hand side we have 2 cos A cos B. So from this, from this what we have? 
what we have cos a into cos b is simply 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. So here above, so this thing we can consider as a and this is also a and this will be b, right? So cos omega naught t plus theta into cos omega naught t plus theta plus omega naught tau we can write as 1 by 2 into cos 1 by 2 into cos a plus b a is a is omega naught t plus theta omega naught t plus theta b is omega naught tau so this is cos a plus b plus cos a minus b omega sorry there is a slight mistake sorry friends so this is entire thing is b sorry so this is a and this entire thing is b this entire thing is b so a plus b if we do a plus b it is omega naught t and omega naught t plus theta so it will be 2 omega naught t plus 2 theta plus omega naught tau so that is cos a plus b cos a minus b will be omega naught t plus theta minus so this is entire term is b minus omega naught t minus theta minus omega naught tau so this is the cos omega naught t plus theta cos omega naught t plus theta plus omega naught tau so omega naught t omega naught t will get cancelled theta theta will get cancelled and cos minus theta we can write as simply cos theta so x of t x of t into x of t plus tau x of t into x of t plus tau we can write a square is there this 2 so a square by 2 into cos 2 omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus 2 theta plus cos minus theta we can write simply cos theta so simply it is cos omega naught tau so this is x of t into x of t plus tau now we have to find x expectation of we have to find expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau x of t plus tau so if we take expectation if we take expectation of this it will be a square by 2 is a constant so it will be outside a square by 2 expectation of expectation of cos 2 omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus 2 theta plus expectation of cos omega naught tau expectation of cos omega naught tau so which is cos omega naught tau is not having any random variable theta so it is simply a constant expectation from the properties of expectation expectation of a constant is nothing but a constant so it is similar to the earlier case so even if you do the integration and again expand this a square by 2 a square by 2 and expectation means integral 0 to 2 pi cos 
टू ओमेगा नॉट टी प्लस ओमेगा नॉट टू प्लस टू थीटा इनटू एफ थीटा ऑफ थीटा इज वन बाय टू पाइ डी थीटा प्लस एंड अगेन दिस विल बी सिंपली कॉस ओमेगा नॉट टू इज अ कांस्टेंट यू कैन राइट आउटसाइड इंटीग्रल जीरो टू टू पाइ f theta of theta is one by two pi and d theta, d theta. So this is again integrating over one time period. So this will be zero. Whereas if you do the integration, one by two pi is a constant. So what we'll have is a square by two, a square by two into cos omega naught tau. One by two pi is a constant. You can write outside. So integration of d theta is nothing but theta, and limits are zero to two pi. Now, if you substitute the limits, now if you substitute the limits, a square by two cos omega naught tau by two pi, and if you substitute the limits, two pi minus zero, it is simply Two pi, so two pi, two pi will get cancelled. So it is a square by two cos omega naught tau. So what is the final expression? What is the final expression? Expectation of at the autocorrelation function. In short, it is ACF is nothing but expectation of x of t into x of t plus tau. Is nothing but it is nothing but a square by two cos omega naught tau. So which is nothing but a function of it is a function of tau only. So the second condition is also satisfied. This is the second condition. The first condition is expectation of x of t. Expectation of x of t we got zero. So it is a constant. So, for a wide sense stationary process, if these two conditions are satisfied, we can call x of t is a wide sense stationary wide sense stationary process. Wide sense stationary process, or in short, we can call x of t is a W S S process, wide sense stationary process. R W S S process. I hope everyone is able to understand this problem. If you have any doubts or if you didn't understand any part of this, please express your doubts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. If you didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Share with your friends. Thank you.